Okay, so here we've got a DAB Easy Box that's cut open, so we can actually have a look at the internals. Um, first of all, we can see we've got five separate components here to the pump. Um, why is it designed that, that way? Okay, so how a multi-stage impeller works is each impeller will add a, a rough example, let's say one bar. And then, so pumping into the next impeller, that's going to take the pressure it's gotten and add that extra bar. Okay. So we're just able to increase our pressure. Pressure along that. Okay. And through here at the back, is this the, the incoming lines um, non-return for if you're, if you're pulling up from a, from Correct, a tank? Correct, yes. Okay. It's interesting. And we've actually got the whole rotor cut open here. Then this section here is probably one of the coolest parts of the the easy box line is that it's actually got a jacket which is water cooled around the pump so you haven't got a fan cooling the pump system you've actually got a water channel running through there and then at the front here where the inverter would be you've actually got what almost looks like a computer cold plate linked also in the water supply to for cooling mm -hmm. what else have we got here we've got pressure sensors this is the little pressurized buffer tank that's internal to the unit um, the have a non-return valve, would that be on... So that's physically underneath here. Phys physically underneath there. Okay, so you've got the non-return on the incoming and then you've got the non-return on the outcoming line. Okay, there we just have the PC board. Okay, very interesting. What are we missing? Basically, um, unfortunately the inverter isn't in here, but that's yes. the only other part that would that's be, that, that would, be seen. would not be, be in here. Okay. And the dust covers, um, or the bug covers that are normally covering these ports, um, why, if it's liquid cooled, do you still need to have air channels into the pump? Um, yeah, so that is, we have, we have a heat sink here, but we want to make sure we get optimal cooling as well. Okay. So, so is that, but there's no fan, it's just through um, convection that the air currents are going correct. through here? Or? Okay. This is also the reason why, even depending on how you mount it, you do need to put in the feet that come with. Because um, that allows you to have a clearance underneath. Okay, for airflow as well as vibrations. Correct. Um, yeah, this one unit doesn't have it on, but they actually have very nice, nice and soft rubber feet for to pick up vibrations. Is there any other specific design features in here for getting it to the very low noise levels that it has. So you can definitely see the multi-stage here. You can see the liquid cooling. You can see the rubber feet is how are these connected? Is everything yeah everything nice and snug, pretty much plastic, which is plastic very good on. at absorbing vibration. Okay. Um, and yeah I'd say that's really the secret to it. Okay. Well. Very nice.